Hello, it's Nancy today. We're going to make a birch bark basket with a birch bark box basket. So we're starting with some birch bark. Actually, here's the birch bark over here, which we started with. And what we've done is we've opened it out. And then we've we actually peeled it into two layers. And we cut it so that there's, a, you know, cut it down this way. And so we've, we've folded that one up and folded these two to the side. Now, this is the idea here. So we don't have to have this as long because we can, the idea is that it would make a nice little seam there, which you can see. Of course, it's better when it's longer, isn't it, because it covers it over. So we're going to sew it up there. I hope this is a little too long here. Yeah, but we, we want this to be on the end and not going up the side. There, so we'll use our cedar roots to, to weave it. We'll hold it together with... Are you even looking at me? You couldn't see what I was showing you, could you? Anyway, so we use clothespins to hold it. Okay, and then to find roots, we just show it on the ground here. So there we have a lovely red root. And then we just make holes with the awl. And then you stick it through. Pull it through. Actually, we should have started from the inside. And then um, you just work your way up. So you go one centimeter apart. It already closed in. Interesting. And actually, what we could do is use the other end and come out the same hole. Let's see, we make that hole a little bigger.
Okay, and then you just carry on like that. You just use two roots. That would be easier, wouldn't it? Then you go back and forth? Yeah, no, you're just going up just the side. Outside. Yeah, and about a centimeter away. And then you can bring the next, the other side, up through that same hole, but um, yeah. you probably have to enlarge it from the inside. Mm -hmm. You don't mind being on YouTube, do you? No. No, of course not. Not with my friend Nancy. Yeah, da 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 da! So this one comes back up through here, this one here? Yeah, put it into that hole yeah. you just, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then to keep going. And I'll try and make one over here.
like this, you know, doing it this way. Mm -hmm. This is just so simple and it's so natural. And you just take the roots out of the ground. Yeah, I was amazed how quickly you could find some. They're pretty close to the surface. Mm -hmm. Isn't that nice? It's so pretty. It's because yeah. I peeled it more. Yeah. Maybe I'll do it backwards. And it'll harden and shrink. It'll... Okay, and then you, um, you're gonna make another another line here. Is that right? Yes. And then you can come across and go back down because you're into the other. So you want to. Catch both uh, Do both sides, yeah. Uh -huh. Isn't it awesome? It is. It looks great. Change your tea over here. Okay. Thank you. Now you're going to catch all here? the layers. Or right in here. Yeah. We'll have yeah. to come down pretty far when I, with this piece, come down here. Well, I guess it isn't too far. It's, it's right here. So. Or you could just go You could just go across and then come down. You mm -hmm. don't have to catch this this time. Hmm. I could just go right here. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I think I'm going to go here because that it'll, uh, then I can make one more over there. So. These are handy, aren't they? Yeah, they're available in the in the hardware store. I think I found one on my property when I moved in and I didn't know what it was. <laughs> and now you know how useful it is. Mm -hmm. Sleep. What? I said you're not asleep. No. <laughs> not yet. Soon. Not siesta. <laughs>
Mm -hmm. See, her eyes are closed. Mm -hmm. It was nice this morning going down there to the pond and then to the other pond and hanging mm -hmm. out in Horseshoe Island TV. I really have to have somebody here to get me to go anywhere, you know, to go do something. Really? Well, sometimes I get really inspired to do that, but not often. Hmm. I always think of you as inspiration for other people. <laughs> well, sometimes, yeah, sometimes I get great ideas when I do them. That's because I film the great ideas. <laughs> I don't film it when I'm not inspired. Hmm. Hmm. As a kid, you were like that as well? I guess. Sort well, of inventive and exploring yeah, things. Yeah, my friend Becky. We were, she came to visit in Georgia. She used to be my neighbor. And I guess she used to follow my lead. Which I'd forgotten about. She told us all the things we did. And I thought, wow. <laughs> we were daring kids. <laughs> I know. The things that you do as kids, you'd never want to tell your parents that you did. <laughs> because it might have been unsafe or... Oh yeah, you didn't do anything No. We used to live near Scarborough Bluffs and I remember many a time hanging from roots. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Yeah. It's like Definitely. you grab one root, it breaks off, you grab another one. <laughs> I thought, yeah, my mom would not want to have heard that we had been doing that. <laughs> But you know, these pieces of birch bark on the ground mm -hmm. really look like paper on the ground. It, look, it makes it look trashy when the birch bark is on the ground. Interesting, eh? Sort of regular bark wouldn't mm -hmm. make it look that way. How's your piece of root holding up? Oh, look, that's perfect. Yes. And then I guess you would trim off of trim off the the this area here. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. You can take your clothespin off now. I just learned how to do this on YouTube the other day. Mm hmm. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I can yeah. learn how to do it and then teach them. <laughs> yeah. Not that I'll do it right. I'll mm -hmm. just do what I think is right. The important part is doing it. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's right. It sounds like tr trite, but it's absolutely true. Says the person lying in the hammock doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> You're on holiday, you know, you don't want to get exhausted so that when you go home you have to rest. Yeah, that's true.
Yeah, you can learn anything you want on YouTube now. No, it's amazing. This this is a rather recent video to be up, I guess, because I have looked for many times for birch bark sort of videos, and native tech is the only one I could ever find. But then maybe it's like you were saying about Google give pe gives people different results. Mm. Mm, yes. So you did you run out of root now? No, I'm just. Uh, okay, when you're. When I, you, the piece hanging here, but well, I you, probably should go back up. You tuck it across. Uh -huh. You tuck it in on the last seam. I should go up here again. Yeah, just tuck it through. No, I don't mean oh. like that. Just tuck it under the root. Oh. If you can get it under. It's supposed to be going on two spinning... Uh, retreats coming up. Oh really? Where will that be? One is at the Finger Lakes uh, Festival. Where is that? In okay. New York? Yeah. And then Trish and I were going to go to Rhinebeck in uh, New York. Really? Rhinebeck? That's the Sheep my, and Wool Festival. My rel relatives used to be in that area. Hmm. My mother, my mother took her horse in the Rhinebeck Fair and Woodrow Wilson came and watched. Really? Yeah, the president. Oh. Uh, I suppose he didn't come to watch her. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> Maybe that's the way she can tell it. <laughs> and whereabouts in the Finger Lakes is this other... Do you know, I've forgotten what the details are. I did get the invoice from my friend who made the booking, but... I'm a passenger in the car, so hey, what do I care? <laughs> I and know I'm so, going away, that's about it. That's right. So now, what is what is it about? It's a spinning? It's, yeah, it's a spinning retreat. It's a spinning, it's a fiber festival, but we've uh, rented a bed and breakfast, a couple of rooms and a bed and breakfast. So four of us are going, and it's just a reason to get out and spin with other people. and mm -hmm. you know. I'm not, I don't really need any more fiber. I don't need any more yarn, but it's nice to be around around it. And the fun part will be getting four spinning wheels in the car. Yeah, some of those have the, uh, what do you call, the traveler oh, that yeah. folds up into that little... Oh, right. Yeah, I see you've got your spinning wheel in the car. Yeah. Mine's not a collapsible type, but... I have my spinning wheel in the house. Did you see it? Yeah. Now that's like an older one, isn't it? Or is it like an antique um, one? This one outside, you mean? That's no, no, the one in the house. It's an Ashford. Oh, an Ashford. Okay. Mine's an, I think mine's an Ashford too, but it's just a different style. Yeah, I think Je um, Jen has one like yours. Yeah, I find I like the ones with the two feet because I, I'm more coordinated that way. Oh, okay. I, find I can't make it sort of keep going with the one foot somehow. I don't know. Well, I, I did practice it, and I couldn't seem to get it So now you have to get another root, so take this mm -hmm. and draw across the soil. Okay. You don't have to go in too deeply, because then you hit the huge ones. If you just draw a line like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one's probably okay here. Mm. Okay. Well, here's a new one. This is good. Certainly cheap, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> cheap and available. Yeah, readily available. Oh, I 
idea what I wanted to do. Because I, I get my own beeswax candles. And I was just thinking, those are about the size of the candles. That would be a nice little holder for them. Oh, I see. Hanging up because I have them in my dining room. Oh, how fun. I brought fun. some for you, though, if you want some. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're the dipped kind, you know. How. They take a little while to do. But I like the process because then your whole house smells like beeswax. This is a beautiful smell. It is. It's very nice. I like that squeaky sound. <laughs> Not something you usually think about when you're thinking about basket making. Mm -hmm. Smell your soap from here. Mm-hmm. Cobblestone. Lavender. Mm. I thought we were going away this weekend, but I think we're not. No. So, I guess I'll go back and sell soap again. My one last time. You have regulars that come and buy it? Sort of. Mm-hmm. I like the blanket that you have on your display. It's so pretty. Isn't that nice? That was just given to me at Mira. Somebody said, oh, Nancy will like that. <laughs> that and she did. I did. I think yellow is your color. I like yellow. <laughs> I really like it. I like its sunshininess. Fields of lavender would be nice. <laughs> it likes dry, hot. Yeah, that would be nice to sprinkle lavender seeds over my hill. Mm. Imagine the smell. Yeah. I planted lavender for my mom at her house. She loves it. I was reading how to keep it kind of healthy, and what you do is you cut it when it's in full bloom and then cut it quite down, you know, short and it keeps the plant kind of from getting all woody and then it doesn't really perform. So you have to cut it short? Yeah, once it blooms, like cut the flowers off quite short. Okay. So take them in the house or dry them or whatever. Uh -huh. That's a good idea. I tried it, it made my plant look healthier too. Hmm. See these fields of lavender, they're nice little mounds, you know. I 
I just love how easy it is to get a piece of it. Oops. Stealing it all here. You're what? I'm always stealing it all. That's all right. We both need it so often. Scratching his chalkboard. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Time to figure it out. Uh, 12.30? I don't know. One? Hmm. What do you think? Well, the sun is off to one side. Maybe, yeah, maybe one. What time did you get up? Oh, I was awake. I was awake when um, Will when Will left. Out. Yeah, but I was up before that. I usually wake around six. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I just lay there for a while. And then I couldn't believe it, it was nine o'clock and I was rolling over. Yeah, I must have needed it. Mm -hmm. Could you hear me snoring in the night? No. 
Did you hear me? No. I didn't wear my machine. You didn't? No. But I slept okay. At least I think I did. It's funny when you go for that testing, they hook up all kinds of wires to your head, your scalp, your jaw, your leg, your... Oh my. You got your finger in the oxygen thing. And you feel like you're all just wired and... Then they come in in the morning and say, well, how did you sleep? <laughs> yeah, right. Plus the thing around your chest to feel the breathing motion. And I, he said, how was your sleep? I said, fine, but I kept dreaming that you were controlling my thoughts. Some kind of subconscious <laughs> makes sense, tries to make sense of a situation. <laughs> When they dug the pond out, that's all I heard for days, or for hours, mm. was the backing up every time he would turn his vehicle. Mm -hmm. Lots of ponds before? Oh, yes. They knew their stuff. Did you get another root? Nope. Oh, you need one? I don't have much luck with that. You're a root whisperer. A root whisperer. Mm -hmm. Great. Did you need one too? No, not yet. Mm -hmm. I just got one. It's amazing how Thank quickly you. these holes close back in. I know. With the birch bark. That's what I'm finding too. Which I guess is good once you have it there. But. And my root gets frayed, or not frayed, but all bent on the end. Mm -hmm. So cut it off and once the root is peeled it dries quickly and becomes brittle faster. Mm -hmm.
in the camera. Really. Oops, time to turn the camera. <laughs> Is it still shooting? Yeah. yeah, guess I should stop it and make a new one.